Hey guys, it's Amy, Pretty Frugal Diva. I am back with an update on life and it's time for our May budget. Let's go. Like I told y'all, you know, I was going to be looking for a job and it was my goal to get a new job by May. And guess what, guys? I did it. Yay! My last day and my job is the 29th. Whew, let that sink in, guys. Let that sink in. My last day is... the 29th of April. Like, I'm so excited, guys. I don't even know what to tell y'all. So, um, the job I have going uh, that I'm going to is actually going to be a job that pays way more. I am going to be five minutes from my home, which means I can come home and have lunch. I can come home and take a nap. Like, everything that you can possibly think of is just winning at this job right now, and I'm super excited. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on with the job situation. I turned in my notice today. Um, it went better than I expected. Um, and I'm, I'm just super happy, honestly. I cannot say enough about how happy I am to be leaving my current situation. With that being said, guys, we're going to go ahead and start on the May budget because the differences are going to be enormous. If you go back and look at my old videos to what I'm going to put down now as my income, you're going to be amazed. So let's start with job income. Okay, for the month. And this is what we're working with. And if you go back and look, you'll know that that is a substantial difference. So that is a rough estimate, guys. And we are going to also add in, um, we're going to start with the bills. And the first thing, of course, is the mortgage. We definitely are going to always pay that first and foremost. So we're going to pay that. Then we have the cable bill. I kind of went out of place with this. Okay. Then we have our cell bill, which is... Uh, and the cell phone, cell phone bill is big because I didn't take off my my service for my iPad, which I will be doing. Um, I will be doing after I pay my cell phone bill. I will be taking that off because that that's what makes it so high right now. So that will be going off. Um, I'm gonna do the car insurance, which is. that and that is my last car payment so i will let you know what we're doing with that um my car insurance i should say we're doing that and then we have i actually just paid the water bill down so i think it's going to be around this much that's an estimate that's what i'm going to budget for um the electricity bill um, it's going to be, it's actually lower than this, but I want to go ahead and pay it a little above. And I have this amount here, but I don't think that's the right amount. So, so let's see what that is, guys. Not sure. That amount, we're going to do 927 plus 125. Okay. So that's going to be a grand total of $2,555. And we're going to subtract that from what our estimated income will be. And that will be $645. Okay. So now we're going to take it over from there to our credit cards. We have three of them. We are trying to pay all of these bad boys off as soon as humanly possible, okay? So what we're gonna do is for this one, 
we're gonna pay um I want to go ahead and hit 100 on that. The second one, we're going to hit 40. The third one, we're definitely going to hit 50 on that. And we're going to hit 20 on that one. Okay, so we're at 645. And then we're going to subtract these. That's going to be 435. Okay, so, oh wait, I didn't add that up right. Oops, that was wrong as I'll get out. Let's see, where do I have my white out? I don't know where my white out is. That's okay, we'll work it out. So 100 plus 40 plus 50 plus 20 equals 210. So it's gonna be 210 and then that means 435 left. Got it. There you go, messed that up a little bit. Okay, so the next plan for the rest of the 435, we're gonna put some towards ties. Gonna put towards some towards savings. We're definitely gonna do sinking funds. And then, guys, I have a situation that just happened like literally today. So my daughter's school, she was trying to register for next semester's classes and found out that she couldn't. Found out that she owes like seven hundred seven thousand two hundred forty dollars, which means we each of the family members needs to come up with seventeen twenty five, including her, um, to make that meet. So I'm going to also include Jordan's education. That's her name, Jordan Ed. And we're going to put money toward her that that amount because I need to come up with seven twenty five in order to make sure she has money for school. And what we're gonna do is put money into each of those, which will be my my general amount for ties is that. Savings, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do for savings, but for this one, we're definitely gonna do $100 and put it into savings for her. And then this one is definitely gonna be 100 as well. So we got 200, let's see, so 200. Plus that equals 240. So 240 minus 435 equals 195. So sinking funds will be getting 195. And that will equal the 435. And that will be a zero balance. So guys, that is that is it. I'm super excited about this. The fact that all my bills can be paid and it is... It is pretty much done. I'm super excited. Guys, um, I just want to thank y'all for helping me go through this journey, guys. It's been like, I'm just, uh, y'all just don't even understand how excited I am. Um, these videos will be more frequent now because I actually have money to sink. Like, yay. <laughs> I can do sinking funds now. Things that I could not do before, I will be able to do this time. And I'm, I'm super excited. I'm super blessed. Um, I look forward to working this budget out a little bit more as May comes in. And until then, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.